In this video, I wanted to answer a question that I've been seeing in the comments section below. And if one person has it, chances are uh, a number of people also have the same question. So the question was, what are there some resources that I've used to learn web tech? Uh, so the different technologies surrounding, you know, web applications and things like that and networking as well. And what are some other beginner resources that you found helpful? So I've said this before and uh, I will reiterate it again, that the options available to me when I was first starting out are far inferior to the resources that are available to all of you guys today. So I'll tell you some of the resources that I used, although I'll have to put the disclaimer that I no longer really recommend them because there's better options out there. And honestly, uh, for the longtime viewers, they probably know this, that was part of the reason why I set out to create this YouTube channel, right? To give people some better options than I had when I, when I first started. Basically, a lot of things that I wish I knew when I was starting out. That's why I wanted to create this channel in the first place. But uh, okay, let's go to the matter at hand. When it comes to web app pen testing, specifically the, the tech, one of the earliest things that I that I learned in this space was, uh, or that I used in this space was an application called OWASP WebGoat. And uh, it's basically one of those uh, exploitable web applications that allows you to exploit a number of different vulnerabilities, kind of like an OWASP Juice Shop, which is the more modern version, way better version. Um, uh, damn vulnerable web app, things like that, right? It's basically one of those, except for OWASP WebGoat, you don't actually exploit most of the vulnerabilities um, directly, really. It's kind of weird how it works. It's basically so sandboxed that it's just looking for a specific payload. And if you enter the payload in verbatim, then it says you pass the challenge. You're not actually exploiting those vulnerabilities. So yeah, I wouldn't recommend it at all anymore, but uh, it was sufficient enough to teach me a lot of the vulnerabilities, not all of the vulnerabilities, but you know, some. And that is a recurring theme you're gonna notice from what I'm explaining here is a lot of the stuff taught me a little bit here, but it didn't teach me everything. I had to I had to keep looking up, you know, resource after resource after resource. And then over time, I kind of compiled my knowledge, right? And uh, that's another issue that I'm seeking to, you know, to shore up basically by creating this course that, you know, I see in my last video, I'm going to be, for those of you that don't know, I'm going to be creating a course called the Web Application pen testing fundamentals. And uh, so if you haven't, uh, go ahead and sign up for the waitlist. It's down in the description below. It's absolutely 100% for free to sign up for the waitlist. And it will notify you when the course registration begins at the end of October. And it'll be a four week course where I'll be live on a webinar, uh, literally helping you guys, have, you all have direct access to me. And we're gonna go straight up from a call working with a you know, subset of guys that sign up for this and are really serious about learning this stuff, cutting out all the wasted time that I had to go through, pulling from this resource and that resource and nothing was really comprehensive. We're going to be covering all the fundamentals of web app pen testing in this four week course. So yeah, definitely go ahead and do that. Uh, but yeah, back to the matter at hand, another resource that I used early on when I was starting out for the networking side was to uh, actually look up some of the materials for like a network plus comp TIA network plus and DCNA. And, uh, I didn't actually take any of those certifications because I, I wasn't really interested in it. I was trying to get into web app pen testing as, as is, but I needed the basics and, um, just going over some of that material was good enough to teach me, you know, all the basics that I needed to know. Uh, but there was a lot of fluff, a lot of extra stuff that I really didn't need to uh, worry about too much. So nowadays, you know, I wouldn't recommend it because there's better options, right? Now you have options like Try Hack Me. If you want to learn networking, uh, you know, take to YouTube as well. There's a lot of YouTube content out there. Take to Try Hack Me. And it's a free room, actually. Their networking room, I believe, is one of the free rooms that you can do. So even if you don't have the $10 subscription there, you can learn it off their site and they do an excellent job. Highly recommend them as most of you guys probably know. And another thing that I really have to mention on this topic is that 
Nowadays, we're actually starting to have the opposite problem. We have an overwhelming amount of resources now, a lot of them that are pretty solid, and uh, it can be really difficult to determine. And a lot of them, you know, might not even pertain to where you truly want to go in security. Once again, if you have a mentor, he can instruct you and guide you as to like if something's going to be worth your time investment or not. But yeah, that's one thing that I've certainly experienced when I was first learning this stuff is people would recommend like just resource after resource after resource. And it's like, okay, these are probably great, but what should I actually prioritize? You know, I would love to do them all, but time is limited. And I really, even if I, even if I do nothing but consume these resources, like, you know, how will I even get through all of this? And do I even need to get through all of this? And so, you, yeah, it's really best to focus on the skill set. Don't get caught up in doing, you know, only tutorials, only challenges, or even only CTFs. You have to push yourself beyond that. But, yeah, it can be pretty overwhelming nowadays with just how many resources is there. I mean, even if we just look at CTFs in the space, we got uh, Hack the Box, we got Try Hack Me, we have Pentester Lab, we have... Um, offensive security proving grounds, right? We have, I mean, don't even get me into the certifications. We have so many certifications now too. And it's like, what do I prioritize? Where do I actually spend my time? Where do I actually focus? Do I need college? Do I need certifications? Which certification, right? Like these are all things that um, they, they can really weigh on you and you might get overwhelmed and say, oh, this just isn't for me or whatever. I ensure you that's not the case. You can learn this. You just need, you might need some guidance and, you know, guidance is certainly going to speed up the process for you to learn this. And, uh, that is where I would love to be able to help out as many of you guys as possible. But yeah, don't let this overwhelm you. You can, you can become a pen tester. Uh, it's just a matter of putting in the time in the right areas. So, I mean, there were times where like, I thought this stuff would, would be like so difficult to learn and uh, if you stick with it and, and you just keep chipping away at the knowledge and you're, you're learning stuff that is pertinent to where you want to go, right? You're not just learning things at random, right? You're learning things on an as, need, as needed basis, right? And you're, you're just being really targeted in your learning. It's only a matter of time before you get to where you want to go in this field because there's such a high demand. It's crazy. I'll talk about on another video just why why the uh, the pay is so high in this field. And, and that's not changing either. That's the crazy thing. That is not changing because, yeah, a lot more people know about security now. But here's the thing. It's not easy. It's not easy to, uh, to get to this level of um, where you can be really valuable for a company, you know, because most people aren't willing to put in the work to learn how to do this stuff, to learn how to become a pen tester, to actually develop this skill set, right? I mean, discarding for a second the fact that it, there's a lot of overwhelming stuff, most people aren't even willing to put in the work. The fact that you're watching a video like this, you're watching my channel on your free time, proves to me that you're someone that's willing to go the distance. So just that right there is really, that sets you apart, absolutely. All you need is a little bit of guidance and uh, some solid, like the right resources for what your goals are and a little bit of tangible stuff to show an employer. And uh, it's only a matter of time before you get there. So hopefully I uplifted you if you're feeling down, most certainly. You will get in this field if you truly want to. And uh, yeah, go ahead and check out some of the videos on screen if you want to start developing these skill set. Uh, this skill set absolutely for free. My free videos here, as always, I'll continue to make them, continue to help you guys out because... That is my aim here with this channel. So yeah, I'll see you guys right over in those videos. As always, thanks for watching.